book 252. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the tree who learned how to walk. That's right, the tree who learned how to walk. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in a large wooded area which was full of a multiplicity of different types of trees, there occurred one day a most peculiar event that left this area devoid of all trees. One of my ancestors, no less, lived in this wooded area when these things took place, and they have passed down directly to me from mouth to ear an accurate account of what happened. I was told that one day one of the trees spoke up amongst the rest of the trees and said, I am tired of standing still. For my entire life I have stood in this one spot while the animals and humans around me have come and gone over and over. They have traveled and seen the world and they have experienced things that I can only dream of. Oh, how I wish I could walk like the animals and humans. If I could, I would spend my days exploring the earth. The other trees told him he was crazy and said that trees were not meant to walk around and explore. Instead, trees were designed to stand in one spot for their entire lives. Undeterred, the tree began telling all of the animals and humans about his desire to walk, and he asked everyone he saw if they could help him. Over and over, they all told the tree no until one day an old woman came, walking through the wooded area on her walking cane. As was his habit, the tree asked this woman if she could help, and amazingly, she said that she could. Excited, the tree thanked her. Then, the old woman, who was a powerful witch, worked her craft of magic and poured a special potion on his roots. Almost immediately, the tree was able to pull up his roots from the ground beneath him, and for the first time in his life, he took a step in the direction of his choosing. The tree shouted for joy as he walked around and practiced balancing. Soon, he was running, jumping, and laughing gleefully. The other trees, who had told him he was crazy at first, soon became envious, and they wanted to walk as well. So, they begged the old woman to help them walk also. The old woman agreed, and she again worked her craft of magic and poured her potion on their roots. Many trees, because of the first tree who learned how to walk, also learned how to walk, and they were all happy. Then, as one large group, they all headed out together to explore the world like the animals and humans. After they had traveled far from the area where they once stood still, they all became hungry and thirsty, and they all became very weak. The first tree, who learned how to walk, said they should stop traveling for a moment and feed themselves. The tree tried to bury his roots into the new soil around him, but he could not. The ground beneath him was not like the soil of his birth. This new soil was hard and rocky, and there were no nutrients within it. All of the trees began to panic when they realized they could not insert their roots into the soil so that they might eat and drink. Deadly afraid, they tried to run back to the wooded area, but they were too hungry and weak to make the journey. One by one, they all fell to the ground and could not get back up. The first tree, who learned how to walk, lamented its situation. Oh, how stupid I was to want to walk. I had everything I needed in the place of my birth, and there is nothing in this new area besides hunger, thirst, and death. The other trees lamented with him as well. Oh, how stupid we were as well to want to walk only because we saw you walking and having fun. Now, we all will die in this land we do not know. And so, all the trees died, and the wooded area is void of trees until this very day. And so, the morning motivation of today is the tree who learned how to walk. Sometimes, we can see other people doing things, and we can think that our lives will be better if we could do those things as well. However, if we attempt to do what others are doing, it can very well lead to our destruction and demise. Be careful who you imitate in life and beware who you desire to be like. It is okay to be yourself and it is quite all right to stay in your own lane. So today, as you chase your dreams and become the best version of yourself, stay unique and special and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.